wedding and worship, we find ourselves just a couple of Sundays after Easter, still hanging out with the disciples, who are still wondering, what on earth happened? We meet them at the very end of the Gospel of John, where they're still wondering, what do we do now? Today, we find them at the Sea of Tiberias. And at first we're told that the disciples are there by the sea. And there's, it's like the text gives us a, a long pause. And we wonder what they might be doing there by the sea. Until Simon Peter finally says, um, I've got to go fishing. And the rest of them say, gives us the impression that there really isn't anything going on in the disciples right now. So scripture tells us that they go out in the boat and surprise, surprise, they don't catch anything all night long. So as they're coming back from the morning, not having caught anything, Jesus is there. But as is often the case, they did not know that it was Jesus. And he asked them nicely, um, did you catch anything? To which they had to respond, no. And so he had a bright idea. Jesus said, pull back out again and throw your nets on the other side. Aha! So the disciples take their boat back out, they throw their net on the other side, and to no one's surprise, the net is full of fish. And as they're bringing the net back to shore, that's when they realize, this is Jesus. If scripture tells us, beginning in verse 9, the 21st chapter, that as they're coming to shore, they see a charcoal fire. And on it is fish and bread. Now this is a daybreak, early in the morning. Jesus says to them, go, bring in some of the fish that you caught. So Simon Peter, it says, rushes back to the boat, gets the net that's full of large fish. In fact, John's Gospel tells us there were 150 isn't it amazing that they counted the fish and then they talked about the count of the fish so often that someone finally wrote it down and we now have the number. 153 fish, it says. But, although the net was full, it was not torn. Jesus then says to them, come and have breakfast. Now, no one dared ask him who he was, because they all knew it was the Lord. Jesus took the bread, it says, and broke it and gave it to them. And he did the same with the fish. Now, this was the third time Jesus had appeared to the disciples after being raised from the dead. Then it goes on to say that after breakfast, Jesus looked at Simon Peter and said, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And Peter said, Lord, and you know that I love you. And Jesus said, feed my lambs. Then Jesus said to him again, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And again he responded, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, tend my sheep. Then, a third time, Jesus asked Simon, Simon, son of John, do you love me? And at this point, Peter has heard, of course, that the the Lord would ask him three times, do you love me? And he said, Lord, you know everything. 
You know that I love you. And Jesus said, Feed my sheep. Perhaps some have had the privilege of sitting at the bedside of someone who's dying. 